NBA players returned to the court today for practice after choosing to boycott their playoff games this week to use their platform to push for social change. We all hurt. We, we, we all tired of just seeing the same thing over and over again. And everybody just expect us to be OK just because we get paid great money. You know, we're human. The Raptors were supposed to have a media availability today, but canceled it moments after it was supposed to start. Other teams followed, and shortly after the NBA released a statement announcing that they will resume play on Saturday. They also announced three new social justice initiatives, which includes turning NBA arenas into 2020 voting locations. To see, um, you know, our black brothers being shot and killed on a daily basis, you know, it's, it, it just doesn't make a lot of sense to us. And so everyone expects us to go out and play. I get it. But we needed some time. All of us, we needed some time to, to refocus and, and understand. The WNBA resumed their schedule, but say the fight for justice and equality never stops. So much you know, disappointing, disheartening things are happen happening. When you see another black life lost or um, when you see, you know, in the sense of Jacob Blake, just uh, senseless violence against black lives, it's, it's hard to focus. The coming of Jackie Robinson. These actions from the world of sports come as the MLB commemorates Jackie Robinson Day. The league usually celebrates the civil rights pioneer on April 15th, the day he broke the color barrier in Major League Baseball. For us not to play the last couple of days, uh, to take the spotlight off us, and so people can ask those questions, uh, how come they're not playing, if, if people don't know what's going on in the world. Um, but, you know, just moving forward, just to continue to, to to talk about it and to really uh, have those tough conversations. NHL players were back on the ice after their unified statement for social justice on Wednesday, postponing playoff games this week. While the NHL has been criticized for their slow response, the media, including myself, are not free of criticism either. This question from a Flyers beat reporter was the first question asked to players today. Can you guys uh, forget about all the uh, social issues for a minute and just focus on hockey? What does uh, delaying the game two days do to the momentum you built from the overtime win? Enough is enough, and people want to see change. Fans want to know what these organizations, what these media outlets, these sports media outlets, what do they stand for? You know, we're really clearly going to see, are you, are you on the right side of this or are you on the wrong side of this? The reporter who asked the question has since issued an apology, but in the Lightning presser, the players refused to answer questions about hockey. I think today, for the most part, and especially um, you know, today and, and yesterday, you know, we kind of want to make sure that we keep the attention and, and the conversation around um, around the issues, and and, uh, and that's kind of where I think our heads are right now. The NHL's Hockey Diversity Alliance is holding presentations for the teams that are still in the bubble. They're hoping to educate them, but also set goals to help make the league more diverse and accepting. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.